hi guys welcome to the first class of speed math so in this class the major topic that we will be doing would be percentage approximation right percentage approximation all right guys so many a times what we see is that even in your qa as well as your lrdi sometimes you arrive at certain equations wherein you have to calculate at what percentage is this number of the other number? For example, let's take a case of 327 divided by 975, let's say. Right? So we have arrived at this value when the question was what is the, let's say, XYZ percentage. Right? So we need to identify that what percentage value we are looking at. Correct? So over here, see, there are certain percentage values that you need to remember that are going to help you. Right? Let's write some of them. So one by one, that is 100%. 1 by 2, that is 50%. 1 by 3, that is 33.33%. 33 1 by 4, that is 25%. 1 by 5, that is 20%. 1 by 6, that is 16.66%. 1 by 8, that is 12.5%. 1 by 9, that is 11.11%. 1 by 10, that is 100%. Sorry, 10%. Then you have 1 by 12, that is 8.33%. Right? 1 by 20, that will work as 5%. Right? So these are some important values. Also, 1 by 100, that will work as your 1%, of course. Right? So these are the values that we have, right? And these values, once you know, your solution part becomes very easy. Your calculation also becomes very easy. For example, let's say we have to calculate this, right? So 327 of 975, perfect. So 975 may, if you see that it is going somewhere, let's say we cal calculate the 10% mark, right? So the 10% value would simply be one by 10 of it. So when you divide this number by 10, what you get, you get a 97.5, right? Either you can do that or you can go if you want, or what you can do from here is that you get another 10%, that is 97.5. Now 90, 90, 180, 7, 7, 14. So 180 plus 14, 194 and 0.5.5 becomes 195, correct? So we already are at 195. So my value is going above 20%, right? Now, if you go, to 30% mark, right? If you go to the 30% mark, what you find is that another 97.5 is added. So what you can do is you can add 100 to it. That is, it becomes 295. And from 100, 2.5 has to be subtracted, right? So after adding 100, 2.5 has to be subtracted because we only need a 97.5. So this goes roughly to 292 or 293, whatever you feel like writing. It actually is 292.5. Correct. Then after that, see, now my value is still above that value, right? But the gap is very less. Now the, now the gap that is left is hardly of 35, 36 marks, right? The value of 35 or 36, correct? Now, if you see 97.5, if you calculate 1%, so 1% is 1 by 100. So that goes on to become now 9.75, right? So 9 added 4 times gives you a 36. Right, so 0.75 will increase the number. So definitely my value is below 34%, right? Whereas if you add 9.75 three times, that is certainly going to be less than your 327 because 9.75 into three, nine times three, uh, nine is done three times, you go to 27. 0.75 gives you hardly two. So 29 you add up, it goes to 321, 322, somewhere around that. So now I know that my answer is below 34%, whereas it is above 33%, right? And among your options, obviously your options would look like this, 30%, 35%, 33%, 33%, right? And 41%. So now since you have calculated that your answer lies between 33 to 34%, you can directly mark that option number C, 33.xx is going to be my right answer. Perfect. So that is how approximation helps you, right? And these percentage figures, they play a very important role. Correct? Let's try another question. 
Let's try one more question. 16% of 945. Let's say this is what we have to calculate. So to calculate 16%, what we can do? We can do 10% plus 5% plus 1%. That is the only thing that we are required to do. Correct? Or there could be another way. See, 16.66% is something that we know to be 1 by 6 from here. Right? 1 by 6 is 16.66%. 16 so we know that. So either you can directly do by 6 and get the value of 16.66%. That is something that, that can be done. Right? However, if you are required to calculate the exact answer, we can obviously go in this manner. So 10% calculation becomes very easy. It goes on to be 94.5. 1% calculation goes on to be very easy. That is 9.45, right? And 5% again, either you divide it by 20 or you calculate 10% and divide by 2. So 10% I already have divided by 2. 9 goes 4 times. 7, 2, 5. This is what you get. Add them up. 90 plus 40. Now see, one more thing I'll tell you with respect to addition. Let's say you have to add 94.5, 47.25, 9.45. Let's say you have to add them up. You add 90, 40, 90 and 40 you add. So 90 and 40 will give you a 130. Then you have a 7 and 4, 11, 11 and 9, 20 is what you have. Right? So you have reached 150. Correct? What you have reached is 150. After that, add them up. 0 0.45, 0 0.25 and 0.5. That gives you somewhere around 1.2. So your final answer would look like 150, 1.2. That would be the correct answer that we are looking forward to. Right. However, if you would have directly divided it by six, you would have gotten nine goes one time. Three is the remainder. Three and four, 34 goes five times. Still, you are left with four, 45. 45 goes uh, 7.5 times. So very close to each other. So if the options would have been somewhere in the range of, let's say my first option was 120. My second option was 151. My third option was 160. My fourth option was 143 and so on, let's say like this. So the gap between the options is very far, right? It's very huge. So you could have directly done this and by approximation, you could have said this. If the answers were very close, you should have gone by th in this manner, right? So we'll also be doing some more questions that you get a better practice out of this. Take a, let's try one more question. Let's see how to calculate 37% of 4,233. Right, so we have to calculate 37% of 4,233. What could be the manner in which we can do? So what we can do is we can go to 25%. The values that are easy to calculate. We can go to 25%, we can go to 10%. And then we can go to 1% twice. Right, we can go to 1% twice. So for calculating 25%, all you have to do is divide by 4. So let's divide it by 4. So it goes 1 time. Then you have a 23 that goes 5 times. Right. That goes five times and then you have a 33 that goes six times. So roughly 1056 is what you are getting, right? Roughly, this is the value that we are looking at. However, it's going to be somewhere in decimal, but we only take this value. 10% is going to be 423. 1% is going to be 42.33. So we'll consider it as 42, right? And to offset the, see, we have left a decimal over here. We have left a decimal over here, right? We have left decimals over here to so offset that instead of taking now our last 1% as 42, let's take it as 43. It will help us in some manner, right? Now just add them up. So 1000 plus 400, 1400, right? So 1400 is what we already have. Then you have a 56, 50 and 20, 70, 70 and 40, 110, 110 and 40, 150. Right, and then the units place so 639 9 to 11, 11, 3, 14. Correct, so 1400 plus 1500, 150 gives you a 1550, 1550 plus 14 gives you a 1564. So, your answer is roughly going to lie around 1564. Right, so this is how your uh, percentage fraction values help you in calculating the person doing the percentage approximation, and this is something that is very helpful for your QA as well as your LRDI portion. Right. Let's move ahead. Okay. Let's try one more question on this page only. We have the space. Uh, let's take a random value again. Let's take it as 62% of let's say 729. 62% of 729 is what we are required to calculate. Correct. So what you can do is uh, see a, a very simple approach again. 
फॉर सिक्सटी परसेंट देर आर टू थ्री वेज डेट वाई विच यू कैन गो ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन गो डायरेक्टली टू फिफ्टी परसेंट दैट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू सो डिवाइडिंग इट बाई टू विल गिव यू समवेयर अराउंड डिवाइड बाई डिवाइडेड सो लेट्स राइट इट फिफ्टी परसेंट प्लस टेन परसेंट प्लस वन एंड वन परसेंट राइट दैट इज वॉट वी कैन गेट सो फिफ्टी परसेंट इज डिवाइड बाई टू सेवन ट्वेंटी इज थर्ड सेवेंटी टू का हाफ इज थर्टी सिक्स सो सेवन ट्वेंटी का हाफ इज थ्री सिक्सटी and another nine will give you a four ka half right so what we have is 364 10% gives you a 72.9 consider it as 73 1% gives you 7.29 consider it as 7 and the other one as 8 right let's solve it 300 right 60 70 is 130 four, 37 77 14 14 8 22 So what do we get? Three hundred, one thirty, four thirty, four thirty plus twenty-two, four fifty-two. So we arrive at our answer. So sixty-two percent of seven twenty-nine comes out to be very close to four hundred and fifty-two. You can check it with your calculator as well, right? So this is how you calculate. Uh, you do percentage approximation, right? We'll do some more questions, right? Sometimes let's say it asks you forty-four point four four percent, right? Forty-four point four four percent of uh let's say any number let's take any number so let's take 1 3 3 one right now what is 44.44 44.44 44 can be written as 11.11 into 4 correct so what was 11.11 11.11 was 1 by 9 correct i think i missed on 1 by 11 1 by 11 i missed 1 by 11 is also very important guys so i'll just help you with this 1 by 11 is 9.09 correct so as you can see 1 by 9 is 11.1111 so 44.44 would be what this would be 4 multiplied by 1 by 9 that is nothing but 4 by 9 so this is another way in which these uh, calculations these fraction values are very helpful right ki uske multiple mein if they ask anything you can still answer in the uh, exact format in the fraction format right so that is something that is very valuable for us Okay, so now four by nine is what we have. So the only thing to, you need to do to calculate forty four point four four percent is four by nine multiplied by one three three one. Let's try these values. Nine say you will take it. It will go one time. You are left with four forty three. Forty three will go four times. That is thirty six. Seven is left. Seventy one will go roughly eight times of seventy two. So one forty eight into four. Right now here also when you are calculating a very good way is fourteen. Do fourteen into four. So fourteen into four is fifty six. So one forty into four would have been five sixty. Then you are left with a eight eight into four thirty two. Right, fifty six plus thirty, uh, five sixty plus thirty five ninety five ninety two. So you arrive at the value of five ninety two. That is the approximation. Right. Similarly, one more example. Let's take sixty two point five percent of. Sixty-two point five percent of let's say two hundred only. Let's take a very simple value. Now what we know is that twelve point five percent was what value? Remember that twelve point five percent was one by eight. Twelve point five percent of five times is sixty-two point five. So sixty-two point five can directly be written as five by eight. So the only thing that you need to calculate is five by eight of two hundred, and upon calculation, it will give you one hundred and twenty-five ka value. Right. So percentage, remembering those percentage values can play a very important role in your speed maths. Right. Let's solve one or two more questions, and then we'll be moving ahead towards the next type of um, formula or shortcuts, whatever you want to call it. Right. So let's say this time what we have to calculate is let's say seventy eight percent. Right. Now again there are two three two three ways in which you can go ahead with this. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Right. For example, if you want, you can calculate seventy-five percent. You know how to calculate seventy-five percent? One by four, an entire thing multiplied by three. Because one by four is what? One by four is twenty-five percent. So seventy-five percent is three times of it. So it becomes three by four. So you can calculate three by four. Right. And you, what you can do is three into one percent. There could be one more manner in which you can go. Eighty percent minus two percent. Now, eighty percent calculation is also very easy. One by five is twenty percent multiplied by four. So let's say we have to calculate seventy-eight percent of six hundred and thirty-four. Let's say six thirty-four. The seventy-eight percent we have to calculate. 
राइट सो लेट्स गो इन दिस मैनर बिकॉज एडिशन वाला पार्ट वी डन क्वाइट मेनी टाइम्स नाउ सो विल बी गोइंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मैनर राइट एट्टी परसेंट माइनस टू परसेंट सो वॉट वी कैन डू इज फोर बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स थर्टी फोर राइट फोर बाय फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय सिक्स थर्टी फोर वॉट डू यू गेट दिस गोज वन टाइम दिस गोज टू टाइम्स यूर लेफ्ट विथ थर्टी फोर दिस गोज सेवन टाइम्स अप्रॉक्सिमेटली मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फोर हंड्रेड इंटू फोर इज फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी इंटू फोर इज एट्टी सेवन इंटू फोर इज ट्वेंटी एट सो दिस इज अनदर मैनर इन विच यू कैन डू सो फाइव जीरो एट and from this you have to remove 2% now 10 1% is 6.34 so 2% is going to be roughly 6 ka double 12 right and 0.34 ka double 68 12.68 right? roughly let's assume it to be 13 our approx answer turns out to be 495 508 minus 13 that is roughly 495 so there are many ways in which you can do your speed math calculation the point is how comfortable you get with these percentage values how well do you remember these percentage values and their multiples so that plays a very important role in calculation in faster calculation right let's do one more question let's do 23% of 780 right this time what we'll do is we'll go 20% plus 3% Right now, what is twenty percent? The only thing you need to do is one by five, and over here one percent into three. So one by five goes what? One by five multiplied by seven eighty, it gives you what? One. You are left with twenty eight goes five times thirty six one fifty six. So this goes to be one fifty six plus one percent is seven point eight. Three percent would be seven three is a twenty one, and point eight into three will give you a two point four. So this goes to be around twenty three point five, right? So this eventually can be said as let's say roughly around twenty four, you can say, and the final summation that you get is going to be close to one eighty, right? So this is the manner in which percentage approximation can be made very easy, and with practicing a lot of questions on on this, you can master the technique, and that will eventually help you in your QA as well as your LRDI portion. So if this is clear, let's move on to the next topic. That is, we still be continuing speed math, but a different approach.